All right. So everything should be in the box, or hopefully by the time we're done uh, getting organized here, everything should be in a box. So you have the neck, which was the same neck we had last week. We've got a face bracket. Um, the neck has the, uh, the servo horn glued on with the proper glue that we went and researched and found out what is the right glue to use with um, our plastic, which is PLA, made from corn, so you, so you need it. Some, some glue doesn't work very well. And then you have your face, uh, bracket which also has a servo horn glued to it um, and then you have your cutout face this one has been glued we I, I just used regular school glue like this to glue on um, the thin cardboard cutout onto well this is poster board and that's glued onto a little bit thicker of some cardboard that I just got from the back of a drawing pad or something like that so the first thing we'll do is we'll take our uh, face and glue it to the face bracket and you know this is not permanent so using some of this this school glue should be fine because we may want to replace the face again and so you know we want to go look back at our drawings and try to get it where where we originally drew it actually I'll just put tons of glue you know so I'm just gonna put it there and I'm gonna let it dry and so we, are, we cut some holes already in our boxes and the, the base servo slides into the box. And so this one, we see the base servos right there. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we do is we take the uh, neck and it, um, the servo horn mounts onto the servo just like that. Um, later on, we'll find out, well, where's the, the right um, angle to put it on? If this is the front of our box, we want to reposition it to where uh, as best we can where 90 degrees faces the front so then it will turn like that um, we'll add a screw so then you can there's a hole here so we can take a tiny screw and screw it on there so it doesn't pop off on accident um, but right now the servo horn should stay on the servo okay all right so the next thing we do is we put on the the face the servo that connects to the face um, and this one it just has a hole that it slides into, but it doesn't fit, you know, perfectly. As you can see, it's a little bit wobbly. It can slide out like that. First of all, let me show you. In this hole, there's a little bit of a gap at the top. That gap is for the for the wire. So you see that in there. So then it slides in. So we know which way is facing front. Or if you look at the servo, you see that the gears are like kind of offset to one side, and we want that side that side is actually the front if we look at the drawings um so we're going to use rubber bands later on we can actually screw these but this is all a prototype and we're going to reuse them as much as possible until we find a neck for that neck and position that we really like but right now rubber bands will do and you just take the rubber band and put it on like that and you know that's good enough now we'll take our face and hopefully it's glued enough and then we'll put our face onto the servo, uh, the face servo. So right here is the top of where the um, servo is at so it can go down. Um, How'd you put that in? Is it just clipped in? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So what we're what's happening here is basically um, the servos all the way to this side. So we want to turn it down and then take the piece off again and put it on again. So now it can go all the way up and up and down, and that's probably about right. Um, if you look at the face bracket, we glued on the servo horn, but there's no hole to put the screw in. It seems like it's on there, okay. But if it were heavier, this would probably start falling off, and then we would want to put the screw in there to to securely fasten the servo horn to the servo. And but right now this is good enough. This will work. And so actually we need a little place coming out, and we have our two wires right here. And now you're ready. Now we're ready to put our little Mega Man uh, Quizbot face and connect it to our microcontroller.